One of the main topics this year at MSPO is air defense. Poland's Ministry of Defense recently launched a technical dialogue with several companies for a new air defense systems with anti-ballistic missile capabilities. One of the participants in the technical dialogue is IAI with the ro 2 anti-ballistic weapon system. Another participant in the technical dialogue is American company Raytheon showcasing their Patriot air and missile defense system. Finally, MBD has a strong presence at MSPO this year as the company is not showcasing one but two systems, the Aster and the MIDS. I am now joined by Marc Ferré, regional executive at MBDA, who will give us a few details regarding the Aster. So Mr. Ferré, thank you for uh, having us uh, on your exhibit during MSPO. Uh, can you first uh, tell us uh, the reason uh, why you are showcasing the Aster uh, this year at MSPO? Of course, Aster is an incredible missile because it has performed very well uh, three anti-ballistic tests, which were very important to give credibility to that missile for this capability. It's an air defense missile also, so anti-ballistic and air defense. It's a key uh, asset for European countries within NATO. Notably three countries are equipped with that missile. Uh, we have France, we have UK, uh, we have Italy. And in the frame of these uh, um, partnerships that we have these, uh, with these countries for the security of Europe, uh, it is important uh, uh, to know that the missile uh, has been uh, uh, acquired uh, into the uh, SAMPT system. We propose here for Poland the capability to use uh, this uh, um, missile in a Polish environment. MBDA has uh, developed uh, in 2007 uh, a cooperation with, uh, at that time, uh, Bumar, now PHO, which is a key company in Poland because uh, this company has assets uh, in radar, in C-Cube technology uh, and in, we believe that Polish companies should also work on communications. We will bring the knowledge that is not existing in Poland, which is a knowledge that is the Aster 30 missile and the launchers, as you have an example here. Our goal is to collaborate with Polish industry and to offer a very important polonization. So, polonization, industrial cooperation is very important and we'll be glad to help Poland with that. And finally, as a closing statement, in your opinion, what, is the, what are the main qualities of uh, the Aster missile? As I mentioned already, uh, the Aster is fully anti-ballistic which is a key subject here for Poland. Uh, the Aster is uh, uh, for, used for air defense also. It is fully proven in NATO environment. All these aspects are key for Poland. So I believe we have a great capability that we're going to give Poland with that missile. There are many unmanned systems this year at MSPO, including this very interesting VTOL UAV. And I'm now joined by Mr. Vonsevich from the Polish Air Force Institute of Technology. And uh, he will give us uh, details on the ILX-27 uh, project. Um, this UAV helicopter was developed by uh, Polish Institute of Aviation, uh, Institute of Technology and Military Airworks No. 1 from Łódź. It is fully Polish uh, structure. It is a uh, composite structure. Um, it is uh, the newest UAV heli developed in Poland. This UAV is a multi-purpose UAV. It can be used by special forces, by land forces. Uh, it, can, uh, it can land on ships. Uh, the payload of this helicopter is 300 kilograms. So we can take an armament, we can uh, evacuate an um, injured soldier. Uh, it can be used both uh, civil and military uh, applications. And we are now on uh, the exhibit of uh, Polish defense holding with Mr. Pauka. 
on board the virus light strike vehicle. Okay, this vehicle was designed to meet the uh, demand of Polish army. Reconnaissance troops wanted to and still want to have this kind of vehicle and we prepare it basing on the on the chassis of Toyota Hilux, Hilux to make this vehicle as simple as possible and to make it be able to, to be used in every corner of the world. This vehicle can be used as well, not only by reconnaissance troops, but by special forces. And of course, we are, we are going to promote this vehicle on foreign markets as well. What are the main qualities of the vehicle according to you? The main qualities of the vehicle is that this vehicle is very simple, um, able to be transported to every corner of the world, able to be transported by helicopters, um, it is possible to transport this vehicle by the airplanes that are serving in Polish army um, and the powerful, the powerful uh, firepower that we have here. And of course this weapon station with this, which is in my opinion a very unique one and very good one. Uh, one last uh, question. Mm -hmm. Uh, has the vehicle been uh, tested already by Polish army? Um, the vehicle, the vehicle has been tested by us, as a, as a, as a companies that develop the vehicle, and we are still we are still waiting for the moment where we will give this vehicle to be tested by the Polish army. So we are waiting for this. I, I mean, I would like to to make it as um, excellent as possible before I will pass it to, to tests. Okay. Very well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are still on the exhibit of uh, Polish Defense Holding, now in presence of uh, General Lamla, uh, Deputy Chief Technology Officer for the PL01 project. So, General, for which reason did you develop this new concept? Yeah, there is a very interesting question. And just uh, note that uh, at the beginning of the previous year, our Minister of Defense announced the start of now our the new ARMO national program. There are the few the pillars of this program. It means that first is modernization of the Leo 2A4, the second is the new Polish main battle tank, and the modernization of the, the uh, APC Rosomak and others of course. Uh, this program, which is dedicated to the new main battle tank, which was, it was dedicated to our the company. Therefore, therefore, we decided just to, uh, to develop, start to develop the, the, the new concept, new main battle tank. As you can see, we prepared to our exhibition in Kielce the, mo uh, the concept of the tank, which will be the first step uh, on the way to the real the tank, which should be ready till the end 2011. And there is a very, very interesting concept because, you know, generally speaking, uh, we will focus our efforts just to establish the new solutions, a lot of the new solutions. The, the first, uh, the very important, is the unmanned turret. Because, you know, that for us it was very important to cover the, the crew of the tank, to establish the full security uh, for the crew, because the crew of the tank is the, the most important. The people, they are most important, soldiers, they are most important for us. Therefore, the, all the crew, it means the driver, gunner and the commander, they are inside of the chassis, you know, in a special kind of the safety box, can say. Uh, inside, we have a, a lot of the new solutions, like, for example, uh, electric stabilization, which, is, which will be made together with the, some German gig company, you know, and uh, battle management system. And, and others, the electronic devices, which will help the crew to take the correct decision in the time of the, 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 the fighting, you can say. Yeah. And uh, if, you, if you look for the body, the body is, is quite interesting. It was uh, designed, the steel technology, steel technology, just you know. And of course, there are a lot of the others, the devices, just you know, yeah, the radar, radars, the ra radars, radars. Uh, there are the element of the active protection system, okay. just you know, you know. opto technical uh, devices, um, engines. Just right now, we are looking for the Sunday company, but the, the the final decision will be taken 
uh, by our the Ministry of Defense because they are looking for the, the one, the family of the engines for the, all the armored vehicles in our Poland. We are waiting for the decision. As I mentioned you before, the final product should be ready till the 2018. Just it means that there before us there's a long way, long way to prepare the final product.